starting to fight his way back into it, uh, he could still do a lot better than he did on Frost. And I hope we get to see this on Youngster. Well, there's a chance that he might even bust out the same kind of opening that we saw in our in our last game because he just he didn't get to. No, he didn't even do it. He like, really didn't even get to show it. Like no. Arthur doesn't know that he went 10 gate. Is it just is it me or is the game speed slow? I guess not. I guess I'm just paranoid, man. I just felt like they were get they were uh, they were earning minerals so slow. It would be cool if we cast a PvP in slow mode and then we're like, Oh my god, the blinks are the best I've ever seen in my life! Meanwhile, it takes like three seconds for the stalker shot to travel. It's like, pew! <laughs> pew! <laughs> anyway, of course, Arthur is our red proto spawning on the top side of the map over here on Polar Knight. He is currently leading 1 and 0, representing Team ESC Icybox. Already guaranteed himself, of course, of $2,000 for making it into the round of 32 here in Premier League. But if you advance to the round of 16, not only do you get a lovely flight to beautiful southern, sunny California, you might get a, you might be able to uh, take a trip in the ruddy car as well. That's actually the biggest prize. <laughs> a I trip in the ruddy car. Yeah. You know, the, the Chinese guys, they love driving with me. Whenever we had Edison, Maxon, and Jimmy, they always said, like, ah, oh, we'll drive with Roddy. It's like, yeah, <laughs> I feel cool now. <laughs> of course, over here on the south side of the map, we have our Taiwanese Protoss player, representing the Yowie Flesh Wolves. He's Haas. Edison sent me the nicest message on my birthday. No, he did? Yeah, he said, happy birthday, Ben. Uh, you have to come to China so that you can visit me and I will buy you chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because he knows you love chocolate? I guess. Edison is such a good dude. Of course, Max Head is still in WCS America. When are we going to see him, Ben? Is it next week? Uh, well, maybe. Maybe the week after. Or did, did Max Head? No, ma yeah, Max Head yeah, is going to be top, playing. Because mm -hmm, Max Head was top 8 in WCS America Season 3. I can actually tell you which group he's playing in. And I also know that we are going to see Top from Team Zenit of Origin in, in the upcoming weeks. Top had the most bizarre series in the WCS America Challenger League. Against Violet, he was able to upset the Korean Zerg with a 3-2 victory. Max Head is actually in Group H, so he'll play in our final week of... Uh, Who's in Maxhead's group? Um, it is Maxhead, Puck, Select, and Sin. Ah, oh, that's a really fun group. We've got Sin still next in as well. Either way, let's focus on this game over here on Polar Night. As we see, this pro ban might have some devious attentions, and I think it is. This is going to be some proxy Stargate play. Arthur is not afraid to get cheeky. We already said that before uh, You know, the show started and the introduction. Arthur is a player that is going to do something crazy in a PvP series. He's also a solid Protoss player because you don't reach top 16 GM on Korea by uh, cheesing your way there. But he's definitely a Protoss that will at least once in the series open up with some three gate pressure or maybe a proxy target. This is a great time to go for it too. He's, he's up in the series. He probably felt very comfortable in game number one. And uh, yeah, this build would have also been sick against that build from Haas because yes, then Haas will have a bunch of gateway units on the other mm -hmm. side of the map. Twilight Council. Is the opening from Haas, and I'm kind of feeling DTs already. But we'll see. There's a second Stalker being Chrono boosted mm -hmm. out. It could just be for Blink. I think Blink is excellent on this map, and I think because target play is so popular, I think it's... Yeah, it could go either way. Uh, I'd still say Blink, though. But oh my god, this Stalker. This could be an absolute hero Stalker. Oh, what a great scout. Is he scout. going to check all the way? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, he, he is. is. No, don't show it. Don't show it. You want to let that Stargate finish. Mm, he's going to finish anyway and he's right. even going to make an oracle anyway yeah but that's not going to come out because uh, the mothership core is making its way over as well this is fantastic news for our Taiwanese Protoss house this oracle will never see daylight Blink is being researched it took him a little while so maybe you were right but maybe he was thinking about DTs and then he was like ah if this is the case and we can see right now Arthur abandoning mission uh, knowing that that oracle is never going to see daylight a sad moment, perhaps, here for Arthur, who uh, was hoping to take advantage of some shenanigans. is not going to actually get that opportunity. And instead, it's going to be Blink against Blink, with obviously a much faster Blink coming here from Haas. Arthur tried to still put on Trigger Press. He's like, okay, Stargate didn't work. Trigger Press is like, no, I don't think that's going to work either. <laughs> Your opponent had quite some time to prepare for that. You should still worry a little bit about this Stargate, though, because I've had games where I took out the first pylon, and then I left the unit there behind even, but then the unit actually didn't take care of the probe that powered the target again, and then suddenly an oracle flies in your base, and you absolutely hate life. I will never forget this game. It wasn't heavy rain. I was so angry. It's always the worst way to lose. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's checking with the Mothership Core actually, again. the worst way to lose is when you're like eliminating your opponent, and then you lag, and like he's got one building left, and you DC. No, because that still feels like a win. Not if he's been bad-mannering you the whole time. 
Ah. This happened to me once. It, it's about the moral victory. That's more. This important. guy's like, ah, oh, Mr. Bitter. You actually, your your name should be Mr. Crapper, except he didn't use the term crapper. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just like owning him, and then I DC right at the end. Yeah, but then you should still feel good. Because no, I don't, because I wanted his ladder points. <laughs> there are more important things in life <laughs> than ladder points. No. Though. <laughs> yes. By the way, Link is about to finish up for the Haas, while Arty once more is going to pick in with his Monastery Core. This is risky, Ben, because this also means that he is not going to have Photon Overcharge on the other side of the map. I'm not sure how I feel about this. You know I'm not a big fan of this super adventurous Monastery Core play in general. Uh, he is going to recall, but now he has a useless Monastery Core at home. Uh, he does have a lot of Stalkers. And he actually has more workers than uh, Arthur. I mean than Haas. Haas has lost three probes throughout the entire game. Haas has to be very careful over here though, man. He does have blink against no blink, but that's just a matter of time. Mm, not for long, and uh, that's a really good counter. stalker count is excellent for Arthur, and this is not a free win for Haas at this no, point. No, not at all. He actually has to be careful that he doesn't overplay his hand, because there is a good chance that he might just lose. I mean, if he makes a single bad blink, all Arthur has to do is blink on top of him, and that's it. He's going to expand, and the good news though for Haas is Ben that he already has the robotics facility, and this explains why Haas has been able, or uh, Archer has been able to muster out so many stalkers. A dark shrine is the follow-up for uh, Haas, which you know Hashtag is called it. is either <laughs> brilliant or a suicide because he's going to die before it gets. Like if he is able to get some DTs out before Archer scouts it in time, it is going to be a straight up default win. I do really like that he's chrono boosting out the immortal. I felt he should have done that before dropping that dark shrine. Uh, but right now there's absolutely zero detection for Arthur on this side of the map. He's gonna make a robo, but actually that's yeah, that's uh, mm, it's gonna 50, be close. 50. It is gonna be close. It does Should Oh man, and here's a pylon going down in a good spot. So uh, we're gonna have to wait and see how this all plays yeah, out. And there is another pylon going up very close to the base of Arthur, which Arthur has not scouted yet, but he's pretty close to scouting it. I wonder what uh, Haas is going to do as soon as he sees there is a robotic facility on the way. He has to worry here a little bit, Ben. 17 against 10 stalkers. I actually think that Arthur could go for a YOLO blink over here. If there's uh, just one immortal and no zealots. That immortal would oh die unless two volleys. It, uh, I can't a lot believe of it Haas is sending out four stalkers. Sorry to interrupt you, but right now he has like six stalkers in his main. This is ridiculous. The Dark Shrine has finished, so just a, just a matter of time before we get to There's the big blink, the blink into the main base. The immortal's going to go down immediately. Uh, we do see a, uh, a time warp going down on top of the Stalkers. Photon Overcharge has been used. It's kind of hard to say what's going to happen here. We should see some defensive DTs, but they're, they're all on the other side of the map. And the real question here is, no, Arthur doesn't have any sentries. He has no force field. There's no way he can make a, a defensive warp in at this point. This is just going to turn into a race. There is an Immortal which is not shooting at these Stalkers. Ah! I actually think that like uh, Arthur is going to win this pretty easily, Ben. All he has to do... Well, where's your guess? <laughs> he needs... Uh, the uh, mortal is now shooting at the Stalkers. There's no uh, Nexus on this side of the map. There is money for a Nexus. There would have been a Nexus if it, that Immortal would have just started working immediately. I still... This is great uh, news Look for at this Arthur. very cute uh, building placement to, to protect yeah. the Robo. Uh, and uh, even blinking to trap the uh, DT. Oh. And that is going to do it. Arthur has succeeded. So and we'll unfortunate get the, for us. Uh, 2-0 victory over Haas. Haas... Uh, not really getting a chance to showcase his no. skills in these two games.